I know this song. You definitely know this song. That is Fitz and the Tantrums. The multi-platinum band kicking off their tour for their new album, Let Yourself Free. That's this weekend. Yeah, they're going to have a show at the Showbox on Sunday here. But first, I got a chance to chat with Fitz himself. Joining me to chat more about the band and his new music, we've got Michael Fitzpatrick, a.k.a. Fitz, from Fitz and the Tantrums. Hello, how are you? I'm great. So glad to be here with yeah, you today. Thanks I see your that. Zoom name says Fitzy Fitz. Is that your um, extra nickname? <laughs> you know, it was that thing at the beginning of the pandemic. I, start, I had to get on Zoom and I wasn't even thinking. Of it. It's like those early AOL days where you pick like some silly name and then you can't figure out how, how to change it. And then you have to walk with the shame of whatever <laughs> silly name you came up with. So. For better or worse, it's Fitzy Fitz on the Zoom. Fitzy Fitz, we're glad we have you here. No shame, no shame at all. Um, you, my friend, have had a really busy few weeks. You've had performances and appearances. You were on Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest. Um, hello, tell me about that. Oh, you know, that that is always so fun. That's the second time we've done it. I just love being a part of the New Year's celebration. We had also done Macy's Day before that. Right after that, we did the Rose Parade. I mean, it was a very busy month for us, but it was it was so fun to get to do all those things, especially doing the parades and getting to connect with fans and be on the floats. It was awesome. No, that's so fun, especially after kind of being halted for a couple of years. I'm sure it felt so good. It, it really has, you know, for, for musicians that make their living on the road, you know, COVID was a very intense experience. We were lucky enough that we did a lot of weird, lame, virtual things at the beginning. And then we were actually one of the first bands to get out there and travel all over the U.S. and start playing shows. And we really got to see every version of COVID and precaution that <laughs> every American had to offer from one day where in a show with six feet distance apart on little platforms for your audience. And then the next day we were in another state, full indoor, full capacity, no mass. I mean, it was like this from day to day. Oh my gosh, such a roller coaster. And I want to talk about, you know, the new music that you've been coming out with, you know, let yourself freeze out now. What can people kind of expect with this chapter of your music? Well, you know, I think this this album, Let Yourself Free, is really sort of a, a product of this experience that we all, not just in one city or state or even our country, but the whole entire world just went through this experience. And having lived through that, I saw so many instances of missed graduations, delayed weddings, you know, just so many things that had to be put on hold. And we really wanted to make a record that was a, a celebration of like the world coming back. Let's go out there. Let's go chase after everything that we've been putting on hold for the last few years let yourself free let's go crazy the world is back for sure and you know money maker everyone's loving that single and we also love the remix that you did with fantagram what was it like you know working with them or hearing the remix when they completed it was it collaborative uh you know that's the thing we've known those guys for a long time noel and the band's always been good buds with them huge fans of them but i love giving another artist the files and see what I get back with because I did, but as soon as I heard it and Noel heard it, we just fell in love with it. So it's always fun to see other people's interpretation of a song you wrote. No, it's so good. I was driving to work this morning at like 5.30 in the morning, jamming out to it, getting ready for this. So <laughs> good at all hours, I'll say that, whether you're waking up or going to bed. <laughs> um, any fun yeah. stories from like past tours or anything you want to tease about this upcoming tour? Because you're coming to Seattle this weekend. We are, you know, and, you know, Seattle's always been a huge supporter of us from the very first time that we came there when we were nobodies. Um, this show is going to be, uh, you know, anybody that's seen us live knows we put on a high energy dance party. And I didn't think there was room to elevate it, but there are just so many straight bangers on this new record that just make you want to dance that once we put them into our set, we all looked at each other when we were in rehearsals for the last few weeks and we're like, am I crazy or does this just feel like explosive right now? And this tour is great because we're trying to 
you know, go back to our roots and play some smaller theaters. And I love, that's my favorite gig to play. A smaller theater, like a thousand people, four walls, contain that energy and see if we can make a combustible engine together, the band and the audience. So, so I'm super excited. I'm super excited too. Um, what is the one item you must take with you on tour? Oh, definitely clean socks and underwear, but I would say uh, really good coffee. That's that's a must for me. I'm a coffee fanatic, so I need my like cup of coffee in the morning and a good cup of coffee to make me have hope for the rest of the day. Well, we here in Seattle can't wait to check you out. Fitz, thank you so much for taking the time to tell Studio 13 Live. Oh, can't wait to be back with our Seattle peeps. We'll see you guys very soon. We'll see you soon.